My name is Fire, and I study different instruments. I identify as a two-spirit, a gender within the Native American community where we both embody male and female spirits within ourselves, and we recognize it. My name's Reed. I'm a former therapist and a writer and an educator. I identify as a queer trans man. My name's Micaiah, and I'm a student. I identify as a gender fluid person, which means that I don't believe in like the spectrum of like a binary, so neither male nor female. I think in a lot of ways our objects relate to each other because they're objects that were passed on to us originally um, and really kind of helped us find ourselves through that journey and all the transitions that we've gone through and really start expressing who we were as people. My object was given to me by a very dear friend who was a writer, um, and they gave it to me when I first became homeless. Yeah, my object not only affirms myself, but it was given to me by someone else, affirming me as well. So reflecting my identity back to me, which was one of the first times that ever happened. Well, when I received this keychain, I had not yet started taking hormones, and my transition was social at the time. My community was still mostly the Portland Lesbian Choir. There's nothing in my life that's the same today as it was then. My object is a red ukulele. It uh, definitely has helped me with building confidence because I've had to learn confidence to go out and perform for people. It has helped me um, come out and like recognize like what exactly I am. I didn't exactly know the like correct term or like how I really felt about my gender, and then just slowly realized that that's like the word that people used for people like me.